Welcome to the Easy Stamp Report Editing Training Video. Today I will show you how to edit existing reports as well as create brand new reports in Easy Stamp. With Easy Stamp's Report Profile Editor, the job of adding fields or items to any report is quite easy. One of the most common additions to a report is the image of the stamp. We did not pre-supply this in most reports as it does use a lot of toner and if you use a color printer it can get quite expensive. Nevertheless, I will show you how simple it is to add images to reports or any other field for that matter. Let's first start by running two of the most widely used reports in Easy Stamp, the Line Item Report and the Quick Stats 2 Report. To run the Line Item Report, go to the Reports menu and select Line Item Report. As you can see, this report lists every single stamp entered by the type of entry made, i.e. what grade was entered, its quantity, whether it was a first day cover, plate block, etc. Most other stamps consolidate this information by stamp record so that one line is produced for each record or Scott number that you have entered. The Quick Stats 2 report uses this method. Let's run the Quick Stats 2 report to see. Let's close this. find and show. Easy Stamp gives you the flexibility to run either type of report depending on your specific needs. Now let's say you wanted to see the images as well as a purchase date and location of your stamps in the Quick Stats 2 report. Let's close this. First we must start the report profile editor. Please note that you cannot modify pre-supplied reports. You must save them as a different name such as My Quick Stats 2 or Modified Quick Stats 2 Report. Supplied reports cannot be changed to ensure the integrity of the Easy Stamp reporting engine should you make a mistake. So let's save a copy of the Quick Stats 2 Report to My Quick Stats 2 Report. So first let's open the Quick Stats 2 Report and we're going to save it as my default or my quick stats 2 and we're going to give it a description of my quick stats once that is done we can click on the fields tab and then click edit fields which exposes all the fields available to put on a report Let's select the location. So let's scroll down here. Click on the arrow to add it. And let's put the primary image on there. Now we can move the location of each of these fields. So let's say we wanted to have the image before the Scott number. So we just move it up and let's have the location right after the Scott number. There you go. Now the by date is a bit trickier in that it is grouped with the grades data. So we need to edit that grouping. So we select the inventory grade values and quantities here and click on the menu item to configure the quantities and values. When the editor appears, we click on the green sign plus sign to expose all the fields available. And now we click on the drop down and select purchase date. We want it for all grades. And now we give it a name and we can call it by date. And we'll copy that to all the other fields and click OK. And we can move the by date up, say, right out or before the total quantity. And save it here. And save it here. And save the profile. And now all we have to do is run the Quick Stats 2 report select the new profile we just created called My Quick Stats 2 and now you can see we have the new fields we added. We have the image, we also have the by date 
and the location is located here. All the other fields are as they were. You can modify the report again at any time by using the report profile editor. Now to create a brand new report, you would simply go into reports, profile editor, and select edit fields. And then again, just start adding whatever fields you want. So let's say you wanted the mint price, the used price, and the year issued. It's a very simple report. I think you get the general idea. So you can just add the fields that you want and then save your report. With this powerful report profile editor, you should be able to produce any kind of customized reports to suit your needs. We hope you found this tutorial useful. More tutorials are coming soon. Regards, Marios.